Bo. Bo. What's up guys? So welcome back to this video and today we're going to be exploring something in react called wrath and today we're going to talk and kind of walk you guys to how to use it and what are the things that you should consider not using and what is the benefit of it and different you know all these chats anyway long story short let's get started and by the way i'm using Quit react app for this entire playlist if you haven't know how to use it before definitely check it out i'm going to go ahead and import react use react something like this and I'm going to do this and then I'm going to define a component. I'm going to define a component called app. And then we end up having something that like this that looks like so. That's a welcome to my app. All right. So what is ref? Ref is just a way to refer to element inside your JSX. Like once again, ref is just a way to refer to element inside your JSX. For example, if I had a B tag that said that has this entire text, uh, which might be a little bit quite long, I can go ahead and delete some of them. All right, let's say we have this text, right? For example, we have this text. We want a way to refer to it. Of course, we can give it some sort of class name and different other thing and kind of select it from the CSS, but sometimes we might need to do some further logic to it, all right? Like we might need to do whatever logic you guys might think about it, okay? In order to do this, I can give it, uh, I can give it a reference. For example, I can say ref is equal to to email or maybe i can say you know description something like that in order for me to refer to this element let's go ahead and do that inside a component lifecycle i'm going to use component did mount and then i'm going to console log i'm going to console log description just for you guys all right and then i can do this that ref make sure that it's with with the s and then we can do description. Let's find out and see what happened. If we refresh this page, you guys should be able to see the element that I'm selecting. So I can honestly select the element that I want to select. Now you can very feel free to read that HTML, something like this, and this will be able to go and get the HTML value for me. So the bottom line is the ref itself is just a way to refer to element inside the DOM. Now another quick example that we can pass, it's let's say for any reason we want to have an input, and this input every time that the user is typing which we can kind of set up an event over here and then this event gonna have a function and we can have a function that say get value we can have a function that say get value in this function itself we're gonna we're gonna call this function here which means uh, this is gonna be this get that value and now what we want to do is we want to pass we want to set a ref over that input just a way to refer to it and this one we're gonna actually call this one are we just gonna call this one text if I want to refer to it every single time that I type I can store this text here. There's gonna be this that ref that text. And now if I want to get the value, I can just type value and this should be able to get the value of the text. Let's see if this works. Text, and then we could just say text and let's find out if this works. Refresh this page. And then uh, if I type, you see now I'm able to get the value of the text. One more time, guys. Ref is just a way to refer to element inside your JSX. Now, there's one quick thing that I'd like to mention here. React does not recommend this way by using string, which means if you have a ref and the way you refer to this ref, it's by using the string. Well, React doesn't recommend this way. In fact, what React is recommending for you to have is something like this. Have a constructor within your constructor you have the super keyword and the whole reason we have the super keyword is because this is we're using the extend keyword so every single time that we have it we definitely need to have the super whenever you use using constructor but anyway long story short the way react recommend it is for example if i want to have the description react recommend to have something called description and then we use something called react that create ref And like this now what this is going to do is this gonna we create a reference to and now the way we can refer to it is head over the ref wherever you have the description pass it this actually value you just created which called this that description and this is how react recommended you to use it now if I want to refer to it I can just refer to it by just doing this that description and I can get the inner HTML value oh I think I missed type this it's actually create and then we can do this that description now the only thing about this with this one is it's actually going to return something called 
uh, current. So it's going to be, we, we need to access over that element over something called current. And if we refresh this page, we should be able to see this HTML tag. And if we want to get the value again, we could technically do inner HTML just to get the value of the HTML that is attached to it. And there you guys go. We are now able to get the value, right? And we can do the same thing for this ref as well. Where is it? Instead of having text. So we're going to head over our constructor and down here, I'm going to say this, that text is equal to react that create ref and something like this. And now I can head over here instead of text. I'm not going to have this, that text, something like that. And now over my value, wherever I'm getting this value, instead of referring to it like this, I can just refer to it as current like this. And that should be able to get the value and to get the current typing thing and get the value like so. Let's fi let's figure out and see if this works. Refresh it. And now every single time that I type, I should be able to get the value as well. Now, once again, guys, React doesn't recommend the string with the ref it does recommend you to use this uh, this thing called react that ref now just a quick note down here that i would like to add is react create ref it's actually something that is part of the react 16.3 so if you have something lower than that then there is a potential chance that it might not work as expected <music>